This is for Luin Min Khan. Um, so the first thing that I would say right off the bat is that you want to get your anatomy down. Um, looking at this, the The issue that I see right off the bat is that you've got n no real form in some of your stuff. So, like, you, you spent a lot of time on the face here, which basically is kind of... Let's pop this as a blue here so we can see it a little bit better. So, you've got the face here with the proportions of the eyes and the nose, things like that. But then you're looking at the neck and then building up the the chest proportionately so the chest comes here with the rib cage like so and then look at how long the torso is the torso would actually come up to roughly about like this so and I, I get you're trying to use uh, foreshortening to kind of pick that up but the problem you're gonna have is that that your hips so the hips are coming out here um, and this is going to create like kind of a conical shape here um, as for a pelvis and then the hips are going to kind of come up here now if you're twisting your pelvis it changes it changes what you're trying to do but because you've got the butt flat down you're not really uh, adjusting that at all so then what you need to do is again adjust that pelvis and um, basically kind of build that up and then the same thing with the arms. Proportionally, the arms would come down here like this. Um, and this would be this one come over like so. And it would be foreshortened again. And then it would come up. So you're drawing your arms way too long compared to the proportions of the head. Um, you've got all this detail in the face, but you don't have any detail in the hands um, and all of that aspect. So that that's causing an issue too. Um, and then this blur here, I don't know if you're trying to do a lens effect or what you're trying to do here with this blur, but that that really doesn't clean it up as well. Um, and you you spent all the time getting you, you spent all the time getting your there we go, uh, your information down here, but again, you don't have, The, the darks that you need to contrast the lights so you would have you want you've got a lot of light from the backlight here but then you need to be consistent on your information especially around this now looking at anatomy you want to add in you know you can add in like different types of things for anatomy um, but keep your lighting consistent and then here, too, is another thing that you want to really kind of tweak. Um, you, you basically put the nylons on, but the problem is you didn't warp the nylons. So the pattern goes flat. As you can see, the pattern's straight across. Um, and it's not lending itself to... Uh, it's not lending itself to that aspect of what you need. So you need to basically warp it with a transform in order to get it what you what you need to have it at. Um, also if you're gonna have darks here on this side and darks on this side you need to also have darks here. Um, putting darks in here like so um, is going to kind of push that aspect of your your character. Um, and then again keep the highlights consistent because right now you've got the strong backlighting here but you have none of the strong backlighting that's needed um, in this level. So here would be a strong backlighting. Uh, you'd get strong backlighting along the hair. You would get strong, strong backlighting on the sh sleeve here. So be consistent. And then here, where there's kind of a gap in here, that's where your space would kind of start filling up. And you want to essentially, I'm going to just see if I can multiply this with... Um, any effect here but this here would be basically darker because your your shadows are coming from there so you want to be consistent with the lighting and I would tell you to set up your your DAS or um, another 3d program and put the lighting in there real quick and that's gonna help you out quite a bit 
you know, as, as you can see, I'm just kind of building up real quick the different styles of lighting. Um, but that darkness actually adds a, a, a ton of information in there. And then you'd also have darker lighting in here where the shadow of the arm casts and then sh darker in here too. So these are these are definitely things that you need to kind of look at um, and kind of build up. And to get more form and value. But you need to really work on the anatomy first and then from there build up the rest of the, your, your scene. All right?